In the previous video, we saw how to update the payment and banking information for your Amazon KDP account. And in this video, we will see how to update the tax information. So when you are in your uh, KDP account, uh, my account page, click on this tax information and then click on this button. This will take us to the tax information interview screen. Mostly as a new author, we will all fall under this category of individual or sole proprietor. So choose this one unless you are a business. And for US tax purposes, are you a US person? We'll say no here. Click on save and continue. The so default language will be English here. So we can just click on save and continue. Uh, on this screen, most of these details are automatically picked up from your uh, account page as entered in the payment and banking information and the previous author bio profile information. So. Uh, uh, choose ones that are not yet filled. For example, here I would choose India for my country of citizenship. My full name is fine, and these details are picking up from my previous in input screens. Mailing address I would say same as permanent address for myself. If it is different one for you, then you can choose other over here. Are you an agent? No, we are not an agent here. US persons test individual. These are some questions to test about your citizenship and involvement in the US territories. So for me personally, none of these are applicable uh, unless you can read and then find out if the, any of these are applicable for you. Uh, for example, for this uh, time spent in the US in the past three years, you can use some uh, tests uh, that are available on the IRS website like substantial presence test. Uh, I'll provide the links in the description below. Next section is about tax identification number. For uh, Indians, we can give our PAN number here, the permanent account number. So I would choose the second option. I have a foreign, which is non-US, income tax identification number. In our case, it is a PAN number. I'll just save and continue. Under the treaty benefits, uh, this is very important because uh, uh, usually the withholding rate is 30%. But because US has a tax treaty with India, um, which is in our case our country of citizenship our withholding rate reduces to 15 percent uh, so to take advantage of that reduction in tax uh, in tax percentage please choose your country of citizenship and then check this box to say that you have reviewed the test that appear in article 4 if you are more interested in knowing further details just go to this link and then find out more information but for now I'll just select this box and go on tax identification number input my PAN number over here choose I confirm this is correct and then save and continue now you, uh, it's time to review the tax information page that we have input as I said here if you can see royalty payments will be subject to 15% tax withholding based on the previous inputs which in, in our case is the country that we chose so the US and India has a 15% uh, has a tax treaty because of which we are getting a 15% reduction in the withholding rate and thus the ending result uh, ending uh, percentage of tax is 15%. Let's review the uh, form now which is W8BEN uh, which has all the in, uh, details that we have given. Once you review this form say, save and continue. In the next section for form 1042s delivery preference go paperless choose the first option and then consent to electronic signature we can choose to provide our electronic signature over here the first option again and then for uh, the next questionnaire for electronic signature uh, basically we can choose all these options but please go through and see if any of these are not applicable for you for me these are all applicable so I'll check all of these and given my detail here in this case so my own name my email address capacity here is an individual submit so when we submit, this form will be uh, added to the KDP's uh, uh, approval uh, team and they would go through the uh, information and then get back to us uh, 
uh, perhaps this might take just 24 hours but mostly uh, sooner than that that's all it has to about uh, updating the tax information i hope you find this useful until then take care thanks for watching i'll see you in my next video thank you